All right, welcome to our third members only full moon video. I'm delighted to share that we're growing and expanding. And I'm also working on adding some more features on the website to add some value and to make it easier for you guys to connect. Now we have a full moon coming up in eight degrees of Sagittarius in uh, on May 29th at 10.20 a.m. New York time, which is also East Coast time in the U.S., and 3.20 p.m. London time in Europe. And so for the next two weeks, we seek a balance um, and something we become aware that something may have come out of alignment and so we want to bring something back into alignment or we want to start to integrate uh, two opposite energies with each other. So the balance in question is between our mental processes, uh, which is symbolized by Gemini because the sun is in Gemini, and our quest for the larger truth and meaning. Uh, which is linked to Sagittarius, to the Sagittarian energy. So one thing that is important to realize is that Sagittarius has the urge to go beyond, go beyond what we know, go beyond what we see, go beyond what is so in the moment. And that desire to learn is essential for our personal growth. And so in terms of balancing these energies between Gemini and Sagittarius, um, that same urge that is going beyond plays a really crucial role in how we interact with others and how we share information, which is connected to the Gemini energy. Now, Pluto and Saturn in Capricorn and Jupiter in Scorpio play a crucial role in this full moon chart. All three planets are still retrograde at the time of the full moon. And so this uh, signifies an inner process of some sort that is directly connected to the full moon energy. Now this is an invitation for us to connect to our inner wisdom, uh, our inner sense of empowerment in the world, and our inner authority. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment, but one thing I just want to say in general about the full moon is that any full moon is a time of awareness and culmination. And so we see things that have not that we have not been aware of before, and we get a chance to make some changes if we don't like what we see, right? So at the time of the new moon, we plant some seeds, we set intentions, right? And we start to take actions on these intentions a couple of days after the new moon becomes exact. And then by the time of the full moon, we've already taken actions after action after action so we see already something some kind of fruition of those seeds that were planted something's something's has has been realized from these um from the new moon time and if we don't like what we see then we can start to change things right now let's take a look at the energies of these full uh, of this full moon Have a fantastic full moon, much love and many blessings to you all and I will be back in a couple of weeks with the next new moon video. Have a good one. This is astrologer coach Sonia Francis.